Today, <laughs> the class will be a Raja Yoga class. It will be a grounding class. And uh, it's important these days to have a grounding practice. It's important to have a way to just find your root. Uh, there's a lot of things going on that destabilize us. So we'll have a practice that's quite soft, slow. It doesn't mean that it will be too easy, but it, at the same time you all do what you can. It's beautiful to see some familiar faces. Okay, so we'll start with a beautiful exercise that helps us ground down. And it's a great exercise to do whenever you feel that your head is up in space. It's a breathing exercise. It's called pelvic floor isolations. So with every exhale, the idea is that you squeeze your pelvic floor. You can think of your six bones, so the two, the two bony parts at the bottom of the pelvis coming in, and that will mean that the thin layers of muscle at the pelvis are contracting and lifting up. So with every exhale, there's a natural contraction of the pelvic floor. What we will be doing is two exhales. So we'll be exhaling and squeezing and exhaling and squeezing more and then inhaling to release the pelvic floor. So you'll bring your arms shoulder height, pull the shoulders back, shoulder blades down, bring the back of the scalp all the way up. And then when you're ready, exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor, bring the hands halfway down and exhale full way to squeeze more. Relax and inhale. So it looks like this. So join me when you're ready. Exhale, exhale, inhale, relax. Exhale, squeeze, exhale, squeeze, inhale, relax. Keep all your awareness at the pelvic floor. Squeeze, squeeze, release, contract, contract, relax, lift, lift, let go, exhale, exhale, inhale, 10 more. Two more. Last one. Exhale, exhale, and hold. Hold the squeeze, sit bones in, cubic bone back, tailbone forward, squeeze a bit more, and then inhale and relax. Bring all your awareness down there at the pelvic floor and sit still. Today we're connecting with our root. The energetic center at the root is called Manipura. You can visualize a red light there at the center of the pelvis and you want to just feel a sense of grounding. So throughout the practice we'll be focusing on our feet, on our legs and on our pelvic floor. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw and breathe all the way down into the pelvic floor. Breathe into the red, bright light there. Feel a sense of security, a, a sense of grounding. And then exhale. Let go of anything you don't need right now. All the insecurity, all the madness going on. Inhale all the way down. Allow the earth to just nourish you, nurture you. And then exhale and give up anything that you don't need. Allow earth to carry it. Keep sitting up tall and keep breathing all the way down. And exhale, let go of anything you don't need. Beautiful. Keep breathing in this way. So Raja Yoga is the royal yoga, is the royal path 
we're using different techniques, the breath, the meditation, the mind, also our way of living should be pure and focused and then we also use the physical practice. The intention is to find self-realization, self-acceptance, self-love and to separate ourselves from all the stories, all the illusions of what is important because in the end all that's important is to live this life to the fullest. So with that intention have all your awareness there at the pelvis and feel what it feels like to be grounded on this earth. We'll start adding some movement to our exercises, to our breath. So synchronize movements with the breath. Exhale, pull the belly in, pick up the chest, the shoulders back, pull shoulder blades down. And then inhale, bring the arms up, reach up. Keep the belly strong. Exhale, arms by your sides. Keep the integrity of your pose. And then inhale, bring the arms up. Reach up. Reach, reach, reach up. Exhale, twist to the one side. Keep the back of the skull reaching up. Inhale, pick up the chest a bit more, the back of the skull a bit more. And exhale, twist a bit taller. Keep the belly in and inhale, bring the arms up. Reach up, come back to center. Exhale, twist to the other side. Keep the belly in, pick up the chest. And exhale, twist a bit taller, find length, find integrity. Keep the belly in, inhale, come back to center, bring the arms up, reach up. And then exhale, fold forward. Reach your sit bones back and keep your spine long. Doesn't matter if you're higher up, relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw. Inhale, find a bit more length from the tailbone to the crown of the head. And exhale, see if you can go a bit deeper into the forward fold. Relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw. Inhale down into the pelvic floor, down into the bright red color, down into the feeling of grounding and security. And exhale, press into the hands, pull the belly, and one way or another, find all fours. So come to a tabletop position. Find grounding through the knees, through the hands, through the palms, and also through the knuckles. You can spider the fingers back, so pressing the knuckles down, pull the fingertips back so that the fingers curve up just like spider feet. What you want is to really feel that you're pulling into the ground and then pressing to the knees, pull the belly in and allow the tailbone to uncurl up. Find your pelvis, so exhale and round the lower back, send the tailbone in, inhale and uncurl the, the, the tailbone, reach the tailbone up to the sky, sit bones up to the sky, exhale, posterior pelvic tilt, sending the pubic bone forward, and then inhale, anterior pelvic tilt, send the sit bones up. We'll start waking up the spine, so exhale, start with the pelvis again, pull the pubic bone forward and then allow lower back, middle back, upper back to round. And then inhale and curl the tailbone, allow the whole spine to start uncurling up, arch the back. Exhale, round back and inhale, arch up. You can close the eyes and exhale again, round back, feel every vertebra of the spine, inhale, keep spidering the fingers in, feel the support of the ground as, the, as you open up your heart, exhale and round the back, stay there, press into the hands, press into the tops of the feet and lift the knees off the ground just a couple of centimeters. Inhale into the lower belly, feel the fire there. 
and exhale curl the fingers in a bit more find the support of the ground press into the tops of the feet with your next exhale you'll come up to downward facing dog keep fingers inspired fingers so up so curl the fingers in press down into the knuckles widen the shoulder blades and relax the head you can pedal the knees and stretch legs you can stretch your toes stretch your ankles and then find stillness in this upside down V shape really press into the arms widen the shoulder blades and send the sit bones up really send the heels back to stretch the back of the legs if you need to you can always bend the knees if it's too much for the lower back bending the knees allows the lower back to be longer relax the face relax your jaw inhale and feel that you're bringing up all the energy from the ground to the sit bones from the feet from the hands and then exhale push into the hands push into the heels to set out any feeling of unsteadiness inhale more security more grounding through hands and feet and exhale send away any sense of insecurity any feeling of uncertainty and these weird times we're living bend the knees gaze forward and inhale walk forward come forward exhale come down and fold over the legs Interlace the fingers behind the head, keep the elbows in, keep the chin to your chest. And then as you exhale, allow the weight of the head to pull the body closer to the ground. Remember, you can always bend the knees, but if you're able to keep the legs straight, bring the weight all the way forward into the balls of the feet to feel the front of the legs picking up to hold you from falling, to feel the back of the legs stretching, to send the sit bones up, towards the sky, anterior pelvic tilt, and curling the tailbone up. Keep the lower belly in, keep the ribcage closed and send everything down to the ground. And then inhale, send the shoulder blades up to the sky, send the sit bones up to the sky. Exhale, press into the balls of the feet, bring the head closer to the ground, elbows in, chin to chest. And then bend the knees and inhale, and curl up, roll all the way up, come to standing, reach the arms up, gaze up. Keep pressing down into the feet, widen the shoulder blades and keep reaching up through the arms. Relax the head, you can gaze up or gaze forward. Keep pressing down into the feet as you reach higher up through the arms. And then exhale, ribs in, lower belly in. Inhale, pull the shoulders a bit back to really stretch the shoulders, reach up through the arms. And then exhale, arms by your sides, Tadasana, mountain pose. Press into the big toe mounts, pinky toe mounts and heels. And feel the support of the earth. Pada Bandha, the foot lock. So throughout the class, whenever the feet are on the ground, you want to feel that the big toe mounts are pressing down, the pinky toe mounts are pressing down, and the heels are pressing down onto the ground. The more you press down onto the feet, the more you feel the support from the earth, and you'll feel the inner arches of the feet lifting up. You'll feel the outer knees lift up. You'll feel the pelvic floor lift up. Pull the ribs in and sack your lower belly in, lift it up towards the chest. Pull your shoulders back and allow your shoulder blades to relax down. Always remind yourself to soften the muscles of the face, to soften your lips, soften your jaw. Relax your temples and relax the back of the head all the way back. Reach the back of the skull, the beam to point up to the sky and reconnect with your breath. Inhale from the soles of the feet all the way up to the crown of the head. And exhale from the back of the head all the way down to the feet. Find that point at the pelvic floor and inhale into the pelvic floor, keeping the belly engaged. It's more of an energetic 
activation. So exhale, keeping the belly in, keep your awareness there at the red, bright light at the pelvic floor. Inhale into the pelvic floor, into the red light there. And exhale, press into the feet, bring hands to chest. We'll do an AUM sound, it's just like chanting an OM, but it's a three letter OM. So when you're chanting A, feel it, the energy lifting up from the feet, from the ground to the pelvis. At U, you feel it all through the heart and the throat, and then M at the center of the head, the crown of the head, and above. We'll do it three times. So inhale for our own. Uh... Start from the feet, go to the crown. Stand still, stand with vibrations. Consultations, L variation. Come to the front of your mat, feet keep distance apart. Release your arms by your sides. Inhale, bring your arms up, reach up, keep pressing down into the feet. And exhale, fold over the legs and interlace the hands behind the back. Inhale, bring hands to the ground with the right knee back. Pick up the chest and then exhale, bring the foot back forward, interlace the hands behind the back, fold forward, press feet down and inhale, rise up, bring the arms up and then exhale, arms by your sides. Keep your awareness at your feet, inhale the arms up, reach up, exhale, press into the feet, interlace fingers behind the back, chest towards the feet. Inhale, hands to the ground, left foot back, knee down, chest up. And exhale, come forward, press feet down, interlace fingers behind the back. Follow your breath, press into the balls of the feet and inhale, rise up. Keep the belly strong, reach up. And exhale, arms by your sides. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw, inhale, the arms up. Press feet down, exhale, fold and grab the fingers at the back. Bring hands towards the ground. Inhale, hands to the ground, right knee back, hips forward. You can bring the arms up. And exhale, come forward, interlace fingers behind the back. Keep the lower belly in. Press both of the feet down and inhale, come up. Reach up, gaze up. And exhale, arms by your sides. Left side, inhale, exhale, inhale, left foot back, chest up, maybe arms up, and exhale, come forward, forward, fold, interlace hands behind the back, inhale, and exhale. Two more rounds, keep going at your own pace. Keep connecting with your feet. Keep the lower belly in. Keep 
keep going. Remember, you can always bend your knees. No overthinking, just keep going. Stay with your breath. Stay with your feet on the ground. Once you're done with this round, sit, stand still and reconnect with the red bright light at your root. Forget about the notion of time, just be present, be here. All we have is time. When our time ends, all this life is over. And you might believe in multiple lifetimes that next lifetime you won't remember anything about this lifetime. So enjoy this lifetime. It will take you a few decades to get to where you are right now. So just start from where you are with all that wisdom. Open up the feet wider than hip distance apart. Send the sit bones down to the sky, pull the lower belly in, keep the ribs in. Inhale and bring the arms up to the sky, reach up, gaze up. And then exhale, bend the knees and start squatting back. You might be higher up or you might be able to come all the way down to Malasana and your hip squat. Feel free to lift the heels if you need to. And feel free to support yourself with your hands on the ground. If you're comfortable in Malasana, you can bring your hands to the center of the chest. What you want again is to press inner feet down, press outer feet down, press centers of the heels down. Pick up your chest up, pull the shoulders back, pull the shoulder blades down, suck your lower belly in, lift it up, relax the muscles of the face and breathe in from the feet and from your root. Inhale all the way up to the crown of the head. Open up your mouth and exhale out through the mouth. Inhale from feet, from pelvic floor all the way to the crown of the head. Relax the eyes, relax the face, exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale. Open the mouth and exhale. Reach the arms forward and sit back. Extend your legs out. Flex the feet, send the sit bones back. Sack your belly in, ribs in, bring your hands by your sides. Inhale, pick up the chest. Then exhale, keep the feet flexed as you fold forward. If you find yourself rounding through the back, then stay higher up. If you're able to come lower while keeping the back long, then by all means come lower, keep thinking of the pubis going back, the pubic bone reaching back the thighs squeezing. This is not rest, this is activation. So really flex the feet, send the pubic bone back, suck the lower belly, ribs in, reach everything forward. If you want to, you can grab onto the feet in any way, or you can keep your hands on the ground, you can stay as high up as you need to, but keep 
squeezing the front of the legs. Feel that the kneecaps lift towards the hips. Think of the sit bones reaching back, the tailbone and curling up. Suck your lower, lower belly in, raise in and reach everything forward. Again, if needed, bend the knees. Find a long lower back. Keep the feet active. Keep the feet flexed. Keep thinking of the heels moving away from you. Keep sucking the lower belly in and lifting it towards the heels that are moving away from you. And by all means, keep breathing. Relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw, two more breaths, keep the feet flexed, heels away. Exhale, sit bones back, lower belly. Inhale, crown of the head towards the feet, shoulder blades back. And exhale, you can even bend the elbows and reach forward through the elbows, feel the sides of the body opening up, extending, expanding. Exhale, suck lower belly, in. lift everything towards the feet. Inhale, lifts in and forward. And exhale, sit bones back, shoulder blades back. Side lower belly in, inhale, halfway up. And then exhale, really stand up tall, sit up tall. Dandasana, staff pose. Your hands can be next to your hips if you have disproportionately long arms like mine. Feel free to bring the hands a bit further forward to the sides or further back. Keep your chest proud, the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. Keep the back of the skull reaching up to the sky. Keep your feet in flex. Keep thinking of the heels moving forward, the thighs, the quadriceps squeezing, the glutes being active. Inhale from the root to the crown of the head. Exhale from the crown of the head down into the ground. Inhale, allow Mother Earth to nourish you, to nurture you, to take care of you. And exhale, send everything down, down. Anything you don't need, allow Earth to carry it. She's strong enough. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Point the feet, sit bones back, suck lower belly in and up, ribs in and up, round the back. Keep the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down, but bring the chin in, allow the crown of the head to come down towards the knees. Keep the thighs active, but this time we're rounding through the back. Keep your feet pointed and keep your hips reaching back, rounding through the back, thin of the crown of the head going for the knees. If possible, keep the legs straight and by pointing the feet, keep the whole leg active, front of the leg active, back of the leg active. Keep the lower belly in, ribs in and up. Keep the shoulder blades down and round through the back. Take a deep inhale and then exhale, round a bit more. Keep the shoulder blades down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, point the feet a bit more, straighten the legs a bit more, exhale, suck lower belly in, one more deep inhale, and exhale, round the back a little bit more, shoulder blades down and really send the middle back up. With your next inhale, slowly uncurl up, keep the chin in as you come up. And exhale, use your hands to bring the knees in. Badaknasana, butterfly. For this butterfly, we want the feet, the soles of the feet to stay together. So press the feet, the soles of the feet together and allow the knees to just move away from the hips. Don't think of the knees coming down, just think of length. Eventually they'll come down. But by keeping the soles of the feet together, we're limiting that action. So suck the lower belly in and lift up, suck the ribs in and lift up, pull the uh, chest up. 
from here, we will come forward just like in our first variation of Pasimottanasana. So exhale and reach the chest forward, find length. Inhale, more length, pull shoulder blades back, then exhale, send six bones back, lower belly in. Again, my maybe your cannot come that much, like that deep, low. Stay higher up, just keep thinking of length. Keep the belly in and up, keep the ribs in and up. Exhale, maybe come a bit lower. Inhale. And exhale, think of the hips coming into the hip sockets. Inhale, into the pelvic floor, that red bright light there. And exhale, allow that red light to fill the body with comfort, with strength, with calmness, groundedness. Keep breathing deeply, continuously, steadily. Relax your face, relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw. Feel the support of the earth. Keep your lower belly in and as you inhale, think of the hips coming into the pelvis to support you and come all the way up. Bring your chin in, we're going for the second variation. So keep your feet together, keep the lower belly in and up, the ribs in and up and start rounding your back head towards the feet again don't worry about the knees coming to the ground think of length think of the knees moving away from the hips and think of the leg bones the femur bones coming into the hip sockets inhale deeply into that space at the set at the center of the pelvis exhale let go release relax Inhale, allow earth to support you, to nourish you. Exhale, round through the back a bit more, pull the shoulder blades towards the sacrum and reach the middle back up towards the sky. Deep breaths, long breaths, steady breaths. Keep observing what comes up, whatever feelings, whatever thoughts. Don't allow them to take you away from this moment. Just stay present and watch. It's all feedback, feedback about what you are, what you want, how do you get it. Inhale from your root to the crown of the head in that curve that you form with the body. And exhale from the crown of the head all the way down to the sit bones, down into the earth. Lower belly in and inhale. Start unrolling up with that full integrity of your body. So keeping your hips in, the chest up. And then exhale, use your hands to bring the knees in. Double pigeon. So we have different variations we can, we can go to. Let's start with the hands back to bring the chest up and let's bring the right foot over the left knee. Maybe you start here and you stay here. Keep thinking again of the knees moving away from the hips and the pubic bone coming back hips into the hip sockets, that the, that's the hip lock and pubic bone back, that's the Svaristana lock. Inhale, pick up the chest a bit more and exhale, if you're ready, you can start walking the hands forward. Keep the feet flexed, keep the six bones reaching back, the pubic bone reaching back. If you have that availability, you can start folding forward. 
But remember, staying back is perfectly fine. Today is about being fine with where you are. Today is about being loving towards yourself. It's not about getting anywhere. Remember, all we have in this life is time. And if everything we needed we already had, then what's the point? Keep on curling the tailbone back and up. Keep the sit bones coming back and keep the hips coming into the pelvis. Keep the knees moving away from the pelvis. Keep the feet flat, the lower belly in, the ribs in and forward, the shoulder blades back, the crown of the head forward, and inhale from the pelvic floor all the way up to the crown of the head. Exhale, send it all out through the pelvic floor. Find the support of the earth, inhale from the ground to the crown of the head. Nourish yourself, nurture yourself, love yourself. And exhale, send down onto the earth any darkness, any insecurity, any worry. We don't need it right now. Lower belly in and inhale, come up very slowly. Maybe you're still back, that's perfect. And then you can use your hands or very carefully bring the foot to the outside of the knee and switch sides. Flex the feet, send the sit bones back, suck your belly in, pick up the chest and you can stay up, you can stay all the way back. Keep thinking of the knees moving away, the hips coming back, the pubis coming back, the lower belly coming up and breathe. If you want, you can come to sitting up straight and if the uh, shins are parallel and keep the feet flexed and start lowering forward. Remember, you can stay higher up, one side might feel different than the other. Send the hips back, the lower belly in, the ribs forward and reach the chest forward. Breathe here. Close your eyes, relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw. Keep breathing from your root to the crown of the head. Keep exhaling from the crown of the head down to the hips. Inhale and exhale, let go of any darkness, send it away, allow earth to just carry it for you. Mother earth is always here for us, here to support us, here to hold us up. You can trust that she can take up all of your burden. So with every exhale, just allow yourself to feel a bit lighter, to let go of that preoccupation, of that worry. With every inhale, allow earth to build you up with more strength, with more light, with more courage, with more love. It's not about sending away all your problems and ignoring them. It's about allowing yourself to stand on your own feet so you can actually deal with your problems so that you can actually make the most of those challenges and to actually see that there's nothing negative about problems, about challenges. It's ways that you get stronger. It's ways that you build yourself up. Exhale, lower belly in and pick your chest up slowly. And again, take your time to bring the foot out of the way. We'll open up the legs, 90 degrees to 120, not more, not less. Send your sits bones back. If this is too much for you, you can fold your mat or bring a cushion to sit onto. That allows you to find some more integrity through sending the pelvis back. We want to find that anterior pelvic tilt, sending the pubis back. Keep your feet flexed or pointed if you prefer. What we want is the legs to be active, especially the quads. So quads are strong, keep the lower belly in, pick up the chest. If this is too much, keep your hands back and pick up the chest. Relax the eyebrows. And then if it's available to you, then keep squeezing the thighs, keep the lower belly in and allow yourself to fold forward. 
discomfort, discipline, that's what helps us evolve. One of the yamas, one of the niyamas actually, one of the, let's say, uh, commandments of yoga on how to live your life, how to behave in this reality, is tapas, fire, discipline, discomfort. You have to go through this discomfort, through these challenges in life, through these problems or however you want to label them. You want to go through that fire because on the other side of the fire there's ojas. Ojas is the sparkling, the glittering, the, ex the courage exuding version of you. It's that light, that lightness that we gain through our practice and through challenges in life. And that's what asana does. That's what the physical practice does. It takes you to that discomfort. So keep the feet flexed, keep the thighs active, keep the lower belly and the chest forward and keep the chest proud as you're maybe folding forward, maybe staying back. Keep the lower belly in, the ribs in. Inhale from your root to the crown of the head. And open the mouth, exhale out. Two more times, inhale deep. Open the mouth and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Hips back into the pelvis, lower belly in and inhale, walk yourself up. Use your hands to bring the knees in slowly and come to a tabletop position. Tuck lower belly in, bring the shoulders back and round the back just like we were doing before. So really send the middle back up towards the sky and bring the crown of the head down onto the ground. Rabbit pose, you can stay here, keep the hands supporting you. What you want is to bring as weight as as much weight as possible onto the crown of the head. But if it's uncomfortable, keep some weight onto the hands, keep some weight onto the knees. When it gets more bearable, you can start bending the knees and maybe grabbing the feet with their hands. The more weight you take onto the head, the closer you come to enlightenment. Keep rounding your back. Inhale from the crown of the head. And exhale down through the crown of the head. Send it all out to Mother Earth. Keep breathing from the crown of the head. Keep your back rounding. Remember, you can keep some weight on the hands, on the feet. Keep exhaling, relaxing the face as you're pressing down to the crown of the head. Three more breaths in this way. So through these rare times we're living, through these challenges that we're now facing with the different viruses and the panic and the shortage of toilet papers, this is our chance to again go inwards, to again see how we are reacting and whether we want to be reacting this way or whether we're just going with the flow or whether we don't have control over our actions and then one action at a time regain control one action at a time indulge through the fire through all the discomfort through all the weirdness of what we're living carefully Bring your hands back to the ground, press into the feet, press into the hands to come up. And then bring the forehead onto the ground. Inhale onto the forehead, roll onto the crown of the head to exhale. Keep the shoulder blades away from the head, round your back. Inhale to the forehead. And exhale to the crown. Relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw, inhale, forehead. And exhale, crown. Keep your lower belly in, 
inhale, imagine that you're inhaling through the forehead, receiving everything that life has to give. And exhale, feel that you're exhaling out through the head, everything that's already been used, that doesn't serve you anymore. So inhale, more groundedness, more calmness, more security through the forehead. And exhale through the crown of the head, everything that's in your past. It's over, it's done. Inhale your best version through the forehead. And exhale out through the crown of the head. Some weight onto the hands, push. And come to a kneeling position. If that's not comfortable, sit cross-legged, sit on a cushion, find a position that works for you. We'll do five lion's breaths, but we'll actually keep the tongue sticking out. So we will inhale and round the back and then exhale, chest forward, stick the tongue out, make a hissing sound, keep the tongue out and keep breathing with the tongue out. Five deep breaths. No shame, no one is watching. Inhale and begin. Exhale, stick tongue out, make a hissing sound. Two more. Keep your tongue wide, sticking out. Last one, relax your eyebrows, just let it all go through the throat. Press hands onto the ground, come to lie on your belly. Makarasana. Place your forehead on the forearms and allow your heels to splay out or the feet to splay out. Find a position that's comfortable, so if lying on your belly doesn't work, like lie on your side or lie face up. What you want is the whole body to feel supported. So lying with your belly down is a great way to support yourself. It's a great way to feel grounded. So inhale and press the belly onto the ground. Exhale, feel how everything comes back in. Come back home, relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw, inhale, press belly onto the ground or if you're lying face up or on your side, allow everything to expand out and exhale, bring everything back in. Inhale into the lower belly, into the root even, allow it all to expand to all sides. And exhale, come back into that color red at the center of the pelvis. Inhale into that red color at the center of the pelvis, into that feeling of groundedness, that feeling of safety, security, trust. Open the mouth and exhale out everything that's not within that state of mind. One more time, inhale more groundedness into the center of the pelvis, more trust, more self-acceptance, self-love. Open the mouth and send out anything that's not radical self-acceptance, that's not radical self-love, that's not radical self-trust. Relax, breathe naturally. If you're not comfortable lying face down, then lie on your side. Lie face up. For the next few moments, just be aware of the support of Mother Earth. Just be aware of all the points on your body that are touching the ground. Feel the support of the ground Trust that you won't go anywhere. 
gravity is there to pull you close. Earth is there to hack you like a mother hacks her children. Stay within that state of mind of peace, tranquility, safety, roundedness. Trust. And allow gravity to pull you closer and closer to the center of the earth as you breathe naturally, as you surrender to complete stillness, as you relax every last piece of tension and stiffness that might still be residue in your body. Trust and relax. Gently bring your awareness back to your whole body, back to the support of Mother Earth. Breathe all the way down into your lower belly, into your pelvis. Exhale. Come back home. Come back to your physical body, your takes you around and that's always there for you no matter how you're criticizing it <laughs> feel more love allow your body more acceptance more trust and breathe more energy into it more life
comfortable seat. Take a moment to feel good. Take a moment to feel grounded. Take a moment to feel the support of Mother Earth. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw, relax your shoulders back and your shoulder blades down the back. Inhale through the nose, from the root, all the way up to the crown of the head. And exhale all the way down to Mother Earth. Now inhale from the ground, just to the center of the pelvis, into a red color there. And then exhale, send everything out from the root out through the pelvic floor. Inhale into the pelvic floor. Open the mouth and sigh it all out. Find more space there, more comfort. Bring your hands back to heart center. Let's do an OM together. Inhale for OM and focus on the vibrations of the mantra. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for striving to be your best version. And thank you for being yourself. What's inside me honors and celebrates what's inside you. Thank you for practicing today. So I will be teaching on Instagram and at the same time on Zoom. So if you'd like to connect through Zoom, then you'll send me your emails and I will just send you the links to each practice. I have a Zoom account and the classes will be open to everyone without any uh, password request. So anyone can just use those links and join. You can spread the word and you can have more people practicing with us. I thank you again for your time and for your practice, for your commitment to yourself and for doing some yoga during these times. My teacher says, do your practice it's important. You have no idea how you're helping the greater good just by doing your practice. So keep doing your practice, keep working on yourself and keep being kind. Be kind to yourself, trust that it will all work out, trust that it's all for the best and trust that hard times, weird times are also part of the puzzle so that we are all stronger, so that we all get better and wiser and brighter and we work through situations. So let's work through this. I thank you very much for everything and we will be in touch. I hope I see you again at my practices. Namaste.